Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect SharePoint Calendar to Outlook in 2024. So today we're streamlining your schedule by connecting SharePoint Calendar to Outlook. This integration ensures that your SharePoint events and appointments seamlessly sync into or with your Outlook Calendar. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step connection or how to connect SharePoint to calendar. So let's make your managing uh, or managing your schedule even more efficient. And let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open your SharePoint calendar. To do so, of course, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in our case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that uh, browser, go to this URL section, just type sharepoints.com. Of course, this is not URL, but if you type sharepoint.com and hit the enter button, this will take you to microsoft.com share, through uh, SharePoint right away. So we'll have to go and log into your account. If you have the, uh, uh, like the language issue, just go down here at the left, click on language. And I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know if they have a problem at the moment or something like that, but okay, here's it. I'll just choose now. Okay, I missed. I shouldn't have choose this. Okay, can I go back? I'll have just to choose English, not French. Where is English? This one. And yeah. So you'll have to log in into your account if you have one. If you don't, you'll have to go and create an account. If you don't have an account, of course, you'll have to go and see the pricing and plans to get it, of course, yearly and monthly, whatever suits you. And of course, to get like share points. For me, my plan has ended, so I'll not be able to show you exactly how, but I'll access an article it, and it will show you with the details. Of course, we will go through it together, so don't worry. Just follow the video until the end. So for example, I'll open a new tab and type how to connect SharePoint to uh, calendar, as we said, SharePoint calendar to Outlook. So SharePoint calendar to Outlook. Hit the enter button and let's check as an example this article. So here, and okay, I don't know what that is. We'll have to look for, yeah, this one, Microsoft Learn article. This is what we want. And let's see what people like saying in here. Okay, now I need an article that provides pictures. So let's see here if they have it. Yeah, so here's an example. So basically, you will have to go to calendar option on SharePoint. Uh, once you open the SharePoint calendar, of course, click on calendar tab. I guess, yeah, so this article was right. So, but I don't know what that is. Th this is like, it should be something like that. But I guess this is an old one. That's why I got like confused. So once you open your SharePoint calendar, of course, in the SharePoint calendar, you can click on the calendar tab or link. This is where you can find options related to calendar settings and integrations with external applications. Then you'll be able to connect to Outlook as an example. Like right here, you'll find it. So SharePoint Modern Events List opens nicely in SharePoint page as a web part, but no option to connect to Outlook in the classic view. Uh, as you can see, SharePoint's good old fashioned event list no longer available through UI. I had one created basically. So, here is just like someone wondering. So, I don't need to read the text. Just basically, for you, you'll have to click on Connects Outlook. And so, I find this one like provides better like information, not a question from someone. So, you'll have to go to Desired Lists on SharePoint sites, for example, a calendar and list reborn click on connect to outlook and depending on your browser settings you may get of course this if you have the browser we can even have the app as an example uh it will ask you if, to allow this type of connection click on allow uh to view like the calendar outlook navigate to outlook or open outlook if it's not already open 
and you may get dialog box outlook asking if you want to allow the connection click on yes and the sharepoint calendar will be added to other calendars group and the left navigation bar in outlook calendar as you can see you can view uh, the calendar by checking the box beside the name check a box to hide it and the bonus tip see the sharepoint calendar combined with your personal calendar or other calendars by using overlay mode this does not add the sharepoint event to your calendar but allows you uh, or allows you to see all events in a single calendar grid so view in overlay mode as you can see this is the icon for it and here for some steps to connect like sharepoint uh, contact list to your outlook uh, contacts to sh or sharepoint tasks to outlook tasks notes and sharepoint server 2013 with my site enabled the feature is called sync to outlook and this is a true synchronization feature your my sites will contain a master list of your tasks across sites and uh, are including of course including tasks in outlook sharepoint connect to outlook also works with discussion boards libraries and more you can see that through here and yeah so that's basically it you can of course as a summary you can uh, simply go and open your sharepoint calendar click on calendar tab click on connect to outlook confirm the connection open outlook view sharepoint calendar and outlook and manage sharepoint event and adjust any sync uh, synchronization settings if needed or even control how often sharepoint and outlook sync you can check for options in the calendar settings or outlook preferences you can customize this sync frequency according to your preferences also and that will be basically it you have to of course go and get a plan for your own download it or use it on the browser you can sign in right into it here sign in into your account your microsoft account have access to it as you can see i sign into my accounts but i will not have access to it because they're still telling me to buy because i'm on a free plan and after that you will be able to do what we just go through so there you have to successfully know uh, how to connect sharepoint now calendar to outlook now you can schedule of course uh, or your schedule is seamlessly integrated between sharepoint and outlook so if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more help or stories like this one and if you don't patiently see our other videos might be helpful for you and if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial like this one just drop it down below in the comment section i'll try to do it as soon as possible so happy scheduling and i'll see you in the next video